Hey guys, I am Jay and this is Football Talk and in this one, I am back with another college football reaction and this one we got answering all your college football 25 questions. Ooh, this one is going to be a long one. It's about a, almost a 20 minute video. It's going to be answering everything that we wanted to know. Let me see if I got any questions. I don't know. Maybe during the video, I might find I might find some some answers to some questions I got in my head. I can't think of them off the top, but every question you got is going to be answered in this one. So if you want, so if you feel like your question was not answered, let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, though, let's jump right into it. Let's go. EA Sports College Football 25 is dropping in about a month, and there's still a ton of questions about the game that I'm getting. That is great, bro. Time, time has gone by so fast. Internet as well. So in this video, I'm gonna answer every question that I possibly can that I keep seeing asked over and over. This is gonna include gameplay, dynasty, road to glory, and more. And if you're new to the channel and you don't want to miss out on any of the upcoming College Football 25 videos, like the gameplay that's gonna be dropping soon and the other deep dives on things like dynasty mode and presentation, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you do not miss those important videos right when they drop I'm trying to get to 600k subs before the release of this game so if everybody watching just subscribed we could hit that number in a few days now before we get into the questions there was something else that dropped earlier today there is a new pre-order for the game that i think some people might be interested in and it is available through gamestop mm -hmm. it's called the homecoming edition now it is a little pricey but this is more of an old school oh, type of pre damn. i really like this is what they used to do more ain't gonna lie this is fire it. right here physical collector items with your pre-order of the game so if you didn't pre-order it already or you're maybe okay from 150 to 230 you want to look into it's kind of just more for a clue pricey there. but it's not something you need it's just if you i can definitely see a lot of people they're gonna give you a paying for this especially five locker this ain't too much to be honest with you with the game now Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are fighting to make sure you are in control of your life. That's why they fought to safeguard patients' privacy and protect access to medication, abortion, and contraception. Reproductive freedom is essential to being able to live safe and happy lives. Why does Wi-Fi only seem to work in this room? Uh, you need Verizon Home Internet. How did... Oh, I let myself in. Get now, before we get into the questions, I do want to tell you about when you can expect more official news on College Football 25. Ooh. Getting asked if we want to be honest. So, College Football 25 still has a number of deep dives that are left to come. They said in the last deep dive, which was the gameplay one, they said that they would be returning later this summer with deep dives on prison. Oh, yeah, they did say that. Modes. So, later this summer, really just meaning later in June. Because I wonder what's going to be the next one. July, so they're not going to be deep diving on stuff a week before the game comes out. But what they're doing right now, the last 10 days or so they're kind of in madden mode right now they dropped the madden cover we're supposed to get a madden review. ain't gonna lie that madden cover look nice heard that if you have not back, so watch uh my madden. video on madden i just posted it yesterday a lot less time not yesterday college comes out than madden so i think college i think it was monday to roll out i would expect a deep dive to start again next week for college probably later next week mm, we'll i bet you they're going to talk about dynasty mode next now, to get into some of these questions keep in mind you may know some of these if you watch every video but there'll definitely be some questions in here that i don't think you'll know the answers to so let's start with some okay i'm ready for that i'm ready to hear that i keep seeing around this game is can you turn off the wear and tear system the answer to this is yes and it was even confirmed on twitter oh you can one of the lead designers for gameplay scott O'Gallery, said you can turn oh this wow off. so if you don't want to play with the wear and tear system if you think it's going to be a little bit too much for you to manage nah, it, I ain't it's something that you don't want to have to deal with the you people that are asking if you can turn it off are the same people that complain every single year about the game feeling about uh video games feeling. those are the same people uh it's too much i don't want to worry about this and that god the molly man damn do you want more realistic type of football game or not damn Turn it off. Those people get on my nerves, man. If you're playing in dynasty mode or just play now, you can definitely turn this off. Now, for online play, I'm sure this is probably going to be on to some degree by default. But if you're just worried about, yeah, I can see that. Definitely turn it off. 
Another big question I've seen is, can you turn off the new passing meter and just use the classic passing that you're used to from Madden in past NCAA games? The answer to this is yes, you can turn this off. And just what was the classic? Passing without the meter. I'm not 100% sure if the new system is going to- Wait, so the classic didn't even have a meter, right? And stuff like Am that. I tripping? It might. So you may want to try the new system before just defaulting to the old. But if you just don't want to deal with the meter and all that other stuff, you can just use the regular classic passing. I like the meter personally. Games. Can you turn off a abilities no you can't turn off the abilities in why football would you turn off abilities they are in madden so i don't think it's something to be worried about they're not guaranteed oh just boost i bet you the people that are asking there are the same people that didn't watch the deep dive in mind you can't turn they're thinking it's just like x factors and madden you have to worry about that that's why another big one i've seen do helmets come off after big hits the answer to this is also no so some people were thinking maybe this would happen here thank you in terms of the madden game this doesn't happen because the nfl does not allow it to happen but here they don't have the nfl holding that back but it looks like they're not doing that here as well and they still have the um what is it the the college committee the game and i think ea just kind of wants to steer clear of this even though the nfl doesn't let them do it in madden i think it kind of makes sense that they want to steer away from anything that looks too violent to the head because it is such a sensitive thing now and going along with this are targeting penalties in the game that is also no which might anger some people mm. Thing, but also in that athletic article, they said that the game doesn't have targeting penalties, controlling head placement is difficult to develop, and EA figured fans would just be annoyed about the rule, much like they are in real life. Yeah, I can definitely see that. I can definitely see a lot of people being annoyed about that. People get thrown out for targeting, but then again, people are just annoyed by everything nowadays. Somebody got called for targeting, especially if it wasn't actual targeting, and then you lose the player for the game. So I can kind of see why it makes sense to just not put that in the game. But some people might not. How many real games have? have we seen in it like that now really quickly before we continue i do want to shout out today's video sponsor underdog fantasy if you like money shout out to underdog fantasy you gotta be on underdog fantasy playing their pick'em game create custom playbooks yes custom playbooks much like madden will be available in this game as well so you can create the crazy i never actually like create a, a, a custom uh, playbook and have it all in, your in a football game, game or any game to be and honest with you teams in the game no and we've known about this for a while but if you're newer to the channel and you're just kind of getting caught up with a lot of the college football news no fcs teams won't be in the game this time around however with team builder being in the game somebody's going to create all these teams very quickly and you'll be able to download yeah them. you want to say in dynasty from other like how many teams is it in the game a hundred plus something like that ways where you can that's plenty in my opinion yes conference or something like that potentially so if you add these team builder teams in there i think you'll they could do an update some of the bigger fcs teams because there's going to be creators out there that are going to do this and you'll be able to download them and put them in the game but at some point the actual real fcs teams will come to the game probably be a next year thing if i had to guess i think that's probably one of the bigger things they'll try to do for next year's game moving on to some game mode stuff can you be an assistant coach in dynasty a coordinator yes you can be offensive or defensive hmm. coordinator and yes you can move around to different schools. oh i like that that's cool the ladder to become a head coach and things like that as well and yes whichever type of coach you are those are the plays that you will be calling so that is in the game as it was expected to be Can you export draft classes? Most of y'all probably know this by now, but for the few that maybe still don't know, you cannot export draft classes to yep. Madden. And it is basically- a I think he mentioned that being real in the last college football the video. Players. They do not have the rights to use those guys in Madden because they're not a part of the NFL PA. When you go to the NFL, you're a part of the NFL PA and EA has the NFL PA license. So as soon as you sign over to the NFL PA, boom, you're in the game. And a great example of that is this year with Madden, You know, every year when the draft happens, a lot of those players sign into the NFL PA pretty much immediately and then EA is able to go put them in their ultimate team mode you know the same night even but Marvin Harrison Jr. this year did not do that right away it's oh yeah I did hear about PA, that and it was a big story of why hasn't he signed yet and I guess it was just a money thing I'm not really sure what the situation was but he didn't I didn't directly over I didn't really read into it but I did see like that headline technically didn't have his rights yet so a similar thing here these guys they have the rights with them individually because they opted into college football to use them in the college football game but they cannot allow you to transfer those real players over to madden because they do not have their rights there as they're not a part of the nfl pa now i think in the future they're going to try to do some type of a workaround for this if you want to transport generic players over there i'm not sure how they're going to find the workaround for this exactly but i'm sure they're going to try to find something hmm. but that kind of brings us into the next thing that's interesting you edit players so this is still something they've been a little vague on we know certain things about player editing we know that the actual real players that are in the game you cannot edit their 
names and you can't edit their ratings which is kind of a big deal. which is people are wondering why can't we edit the ratings we can edit the ratings of players in madden who are real players why can't we edit them here and again i think this comes down to how they're using the players in each game or how they have the rights to each player right in the nfl game again uh, they have the entire nfl pa which is everybody that plays in the yep NFL. i and bet yep it's di like it's a different ball game with college football individual deals with each player because there is no college player that's what it is okay so the individual deal so that's why i mean which is understand i kind of understood that one um but i'm not really a customizing like type of player um but i did see people asking about that or like kind of being like oh look at this ea it's not putting this in the game or this and that there's more times than not there's reasons why you might not like the reasons, but there's reasons. You know what I mean? And this one is a prime example. They're doing direct deals with players versus with Madden. They have a license just to use the entire Players Association. I think that might have something to do with... And you can't compare it to years past because you did not have actual players in the game. That's doing a direct deal with you is going to want their ratings edited. Like, they don't want you to take Travis Hunter and make him a 75 overall when he's doing a direct deal with the game company versus with Madden. You know, you got the whole association. It's kind of just something they don't really have a say in. If you're in the NFL, you're in the NFL PA you're in the game you have no say over it whereas this individual players have a say in whether or not they're going to be in the game so i think that's why they have to limit the editing with them now in terms of the fake players and even some of the real players things like equipment and stuff like that from what we know you'll be able to edit that type of stuff you'll be able to customize your players, okay but you're not gonna be able to i mean that's good enough for me names like arch manning because he didn't opt into the game and you're not gonna be able to change the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. i remember uh and seeing uh, a lot of people tripping out about that conferences yes you can customize conferences i don't know i did hear some about this about the customizing the conference and that's really cool you can rebuild old conferences i think you might even be able to delete conferences so they're going to give you as much customization as possible what? inside of dynasty mode can you customize the schedules yes you can customize them to a degree there are certain protected uh, that you're not be able to change like you're not gonna be able to take okay Ohio State i like that in rivalry that would just be nonsense you can't do stuff like that but yeah inside of that yeah i mean i wouldn't want to anyway do recruits have deal breakers in dynasty yes some of the bigger names have what especially will have have these where they might want to play close to home or they want to play for a top school mm. number of these in the game oh i didn't even think about that so there will be some players that you just simply will not be able to recruit depending on where your school is at or how good they are or a number of other oh, that's gonna be brutal imagine imagine you got a five star on your list and he like nah i want to stay home mom's mom's right here family right here player over to damn that's your specific player there's no legalities with that so you'll be able to do that just like the old days also people want to know can you transfer literally inside road to glory like to different schools yes you'll be able to transfer i believe every season if you want to just like real life you want to switch around different teams you want to start people are going to abuse that one to a big school yes you will be i can never see it right now i mean they was abusing in the last ones is road to glory a story mode no i know a couple of writers kind of mm. said this but that's definitely not the case it's not a story mode it's not like long shot or how face of the franchise was in madden There's and i asked dude I, I love long shot i know a lot of people did not like it but i loved it thing we kind of know that's been written put out so far they've made road to glory a deeper experience than it was in the old games no there is no high school which is another question some people still have no there is not any high school <sighs> there, and there are a few less the high school thing i've never seen so many people complain about that how many of y'all actually did the high school and had fun with it I, I saw some people saying that because it was it's the experience After you play your first high school game, I bet you, you was like, man, I'm over this shit. I mean, I am scoring 150 points, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done with this. Like, I, I like that they took away the high school thing because I feel like, I mean, I like, I like looking at the high school thing. Like, yeah, that's cool to see, but as he playing it, it's kind of like after the first game, you like, all right, let's go to college. But then you got to play another one. And it's like, ugh. I guess I'm gonna score 200 this game. I guess I'm gonna score 300 this game. Like, you feel me? It just got to a point where it just became unfun. And I felt like a lot of people did not like enjoy it as much as they wanna say online because it's EA, people are gonna say, oh, they need to add this. Why they take this away? Nah, nah, nah. Just because it's EA, people automatically is gonna have something to say. Something negative to say. I've seen a lot of positivity as well. 
but some parts is just like y'all complaining for nothing that's one thing about sports community in particular we complain for nothing at all we don't really care but we get on twitter and youtube and type in the comments like we do but we don't care come on now we don't Best positions Stop it. were there for instance. And if you do, if you say you still do, stuff, you're not. You're lying to yourself. More in depth and it's going to give a lot of replayability and a lot of time to this mode where you can do a lot of things and manage a lot of and I never played like these type of modes. I've only only played like play now. NCAA 14's Road to Glory, but it sounds like there's a lot more that's also been added. And when the deep dive comes for that, I think that you'll see that. And you'll Ooh, see I can't wait. You know your boy gonna be reacting to it. Real coaches in the game, and will there be coach at uh, uh, Real coaches this year. I think that's something that probably do for next year. They were not able to work out the licensing for the real coaches for this release of the game. And also, no, they're and that would been nice to see the real coaches on the sideline. Edit certain things with players because they're not going to let you create fictional coaches that resemble the real life coaches when they don't mm. have their licensing. However, yes, you'll be able to edit your. I remember I used to do that in uh those options there for your creative. I think it was Madden 21 with Bill Belichick. Playoff in this game, yes, everything that will be happening in real college football football this year will be in the game which is pretty cool because there's certain things we're going to see in this game before we actually see it in real life like the, right, the new college football cool. playoffs now, is going to be crazy this coming season leg sleeve we've seen that they do have leg sleeves in the game they definitely have two leg sleeves can you do just one the answer is not this year didn't make it in now I ah complexity of this so don't ask me that i don't know why you can do two damn you can't do one i don't know why you can't just do one side only if you're able to do it on both sides don't know i, I don't know there's obviously a reason but no you cannot do one leg sleeve you can do two the one leg sleeve is probably i'm sure they could do it it's like probably it. was just we're development time under, under armor gear in the game because we didn't see this in the trailer we saw adidas gear we saw nike gear but we saw under armor on the jerseys but we didn't see the equipment yes this should be in the game for launch we should get the under armor gear i've been told our tasks in the game because we thought we might have seen this in one of the trailers i was told that no not this year but it's coming sooner rather than later so we gotta stop with this ski mask shit man my goodness we gotta really stop with that ski mask stuff man really like i mean it wasn't really cool in my opinion it was like okay but now it's just like, okay, guys, can can we stop? You don't got, why are you wearing ski mask to church? Like, you wearing the ski mask just to go outside and get mail? Come on, guys. You're overdoing it. See, see, that's the thing. All right, it was all good and fun or whatever. And then people, and then you just, our generation just drag stuff. My goodness gracious, man. Date probably next year. I know equipment wise with the college game, almost all the equipment you can think of is going to be in the game way more so than we see in Madden, like rolled up jerseys, hoodies, the pants above the knee. I ain't going to lie, the hoodies one looks so clean. Not in Madden, but there are still a few things, you know, maybe a handful of things that aren't going to be in this game. And ski masks appear to be one of them and single leg sleeves also appear to be one of them as well. Are the crowds unique in the game? Yes, the crowds are mm. unique as you could expect them to be they all have Ooh, that lsu tiger a hey, stadium at night ain't nothing like it crowd, like the thing that florida state does with their arms and you know all their little stuff that you're used to seeing all of that is accurate in the game but oh yeah you're gonna see the gators uh fans, for example doing doing the gator thing bombs. missouri fans have the tiger tails you know we've seen in trailers penn state has the whiteout game tennessee has the ain't gonna lie the whiteout game is one of the cleanest games i've seen this is gonna be a big thing for the game when crowds wear certain colors or when they stripe the crowd or sit in a certain way for certain rivalry games or whatever the case may be that stuff's going to be present in the game at least in dynasty mode where it makes sense for it to happen for the certain games that it would happen those types of things are in the game so the crowds are very unique and detailed even you know one stadium i don't like band and all i don't know why all that it's colorado in the i just don't like looking at their stadium just to show you how detailed not only the crowds are but just the stadiums and the traditions even a school like arkansas state for example has the waterfall in the stadium like even the smaller oh i 
didn't even know that. Detail. So it's just really nice to see that they I ain't gonna lie, the Wyoming thing, I did not know anything about that. Songs are in the game, and maybe better yet, which songs aren't mm. in the game. So two of the big ones that we thought might be in the game but aren't are Jump Around at Wisconsin and Inner Sandman for Virginia Tech. And the simple answer to why this isn't in the game, and I know some people don't want to hear it, but some of these songs simply cost an outrageous amount of money to license. Now, EA was trying yep. to as possible, but I think some people expected them to license, you know, the songs for like half the teams in the game. And that was never going to be the case because if you did that, come on you now, even make a profit from the game. That's how much money you would be spending on licensing music. Licensing music. To be honest with you, some songs, if if they were to really really try try to try to do songs, it could bankrupt your company. Like I know everybody, EA is a huge company, right? But I think everybody expects. Everybody just thinks EA's got all this money. Like, if you go on Google right now and search their capital, or whatever, everybody just thinks that's what they got. Like, they just got that in their pocket. When that's not how it works. Okay? Of course, they have a large chunk of money. But you got to remember, you got PR. You got development costs. You got capture costs for, for, for the player, for, for the people that you got in to... to replicate the players you got the the pc cost of everybody that that's on development team you got so much cost and i don't think people realize once you add that up and now you're ready to publish the game like i ain't gonna lie to you games have been a very similar price for so long that nowadays we make we it, oh my goodness they it costs this much no Seventy dot a seventy dollar game. When you buy a seventy dollar game, that is not even a snippet of what it costs to ship just one unit out. That's not saying in bulk. I mean, one unit probably costs way more than that seventy dollars that you think you gave them, and that you oh, well, I paid seventy dollars. Like no, that probably cost them some coffee for that week for their workers. Like, what, what are you doing? Like, we got, I, I think people need to understand that more. And I think it's, it's, it is a huge disservice if you do not look into things like this, if you're such a gamer. Extremely expensive me. at times, so we were only going to get a handful of these, the ones that made the most sense. And I don't really have a problem with that. I know that it, it would be cool. It's that the little cherry on top, especially for a school. Yeah, it would have been cool, but I don't want to bankrupt EA. A crazy amount of money to license like a 10 second clip of a song. Or any company. Take that same amount of money and put that into 10 other things that are going to be a bigger impact on the game. You have to make that tough call, which really I don't think is a tough call, but you have to make that call sometimes. Now, we do know some songs that are in the game. We know Zombie Nation is in the game. Sandstorm is in the game. Tsunami zombie nation game and mobam but that's the only four we've seen mobam ain't that uh Other than that again we never were gonna get like 50 damn i can't even think is that colorado's thing you know, i was thinking 10 at most so the one that they were able to work out a reasonable deal with we got those in the game some of the yeah, hella songs running. in college but i just realized that ESPN licensing in the game i think most people know this by now but I'm yeah it's no question the answer is no which i actually think is gonna be a good thing for this game and let me explain yeah. so yeah it's cool to see espn logo on the scoreboard and have a couple different espn presentations things but the thing is when you're working with these big companies they have control over how they're using the game so if you use espn you're gonna have to do hit the nail in the coffin to do it instead of you being able to get creative with how you want to do it also they don't even have the espn license no more that did not get renewed a while back so they don't even actually have the license anymore anyway however the presentation for this game as you'll come to see in the coming weeks is very very good and very detailed so that's really what it I'm looks the presentation just from the couple of screenshots i've seen ESPN logo. it looks awesome and another like quick story about this that kind of drives this point home about how ESPN can control things and all these other entities when they're in the game. It was written in an article that Chris Fowler said when he was down at EA that he was mad back in the day and he was really really annoyed because ESPN blocked him from being in the game because EA wanted to put Chris Fowler in the game years uh... back the NCAA series, and they wouldn't let him be in the game, which is weird because some of the announcers we do currently have in the game are ESPN announcers, but they're not dealing directly with ESPN in the same way. So when you're dealing directly okay. with ESPN, 
can say like, okay, you can use this guy, you can't use that guy. Like they can block stuff. They get they get to pick and choose. Have Chris Fowler in the game, for example, maybe if they were still dealing with ESPN directly. So it's little things like damn, that's crazy to think about. Fowler in the game than have the ESPN logo personally. Yeah, me. Yeah, definitely. In the game, no. Will it be coming back? I did see something about this too. This is a big deal. It's kind of goofy fun for sure, but I think the far majority of people. I think I played mascot mode maybe once on the accident. Don't really mess with it again. Something fun to maybe play with buddy. It's been cool, but I don't think it's not something that personally I think people really really care about. Is the Heisman challenge in the game? As far as I can tell, no. We haven't seen anything. What was the Heisman challenge? Again, this could be something they maybe bring back one day. It's still year one of the game. There's gonna be some. I vaguely remember seeing it, but I don't remember exactly what the Heisman challenge was. Waiting another two years for the game to come out. So no, no Heisman challenge this year, but maybe someday they do bring that back. Is NIL in the game? So NIL is in the game in a small way, but maybe not in the way you think. So there definitely are like brand deals and stuff you can get for your player inside Road to Glory. So that is technically NIL in some way because you couldn't do that okay. back in the day. Will this be in Dynasty mode in some way? We don't really know for sure how that'd be integrated, but there was an article written on Uprox where they did an interview with Ben Ha Miller, who is the leader for Dynasty. And he spoke a little bit about why NIL isn't in the game in a bigger way for the first edition of this game coming back. And he said, when you talk about something like NIL, it's very tricky for us to think about how it's changing all the time. You don't have a set of- It's one of the most confusing things I've ever seen. It's different on how things operate. Also, when you're in Dynasty, you're the program. You're not supposed to be the ones doing these deals directly. Mm, so okay. we know how big that story is, but with everything that we had to do, we couldn't justify spending the time to go down the rabbit hole of what NIL kind of is currently knowing full well- I feel like you'll be more confused going down the rabbit hole. ...version is, and then a year from that, rip that out. So it's about finding the right time to do a feature like that to build that in so that we are doing it in a smart way doing it in a way that is authentic as we can be also knowing that we cannot do things that are going to anger our partners being the schools we're an e for everyone game so those salacious things are not going to happen now if you want to see some more little details that were and oh man this was this answered all the questions that i might have had in my head um and even some that i didn't even think about um some of them I didn't know. I did read up on some of them, like the mascot mode. I know, I know, some people were were kind of upset about that. Which is, I mean, it was a fun mode, but is it really like a? Are you really not going to buy the game because they don't got mascot mode? Let's be honest. The two people on Reddit that said that are are not. They don't play college football. They they probably never watched college football. Yeah, but I'm gonna end it off right here. This uh, this gonna do it for me, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this reaction. Love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.